Hello. Um, I wonder, are you as excited as I am about uh, the uh, new Amazon um, uh, television series of Lord of the Rings? Now, I have a confession to make. Uh, <laughs> I have a real confession to make. Although I've read Lord of the Rings many, many times. Um, I mean, I'm not as bad, I think, as Christopher Lee. I don't read it every year. But I do, uh, <laughs> I have read it two or three times uh, from cover to cover. And when I, was a, uh, when, when I was a boy at school, I did literally get to the end and then go straight back to the beginning. And I carried with me um, when I was supposed to go off to play rugby. And I think I used to hide behind the big H because I was terribly thin. And uh, even in the snow and the, and the rain, which um, the, the, the rather savage school thought um, was, was appropriate weather for sending little boys out to play games, um, I carried my copy of Lord of the Rings, which I've still got. Um, it was a little bit shabbier. And one or two pages at the beginning <laughs> are missing. And I think one or two pages at the end. You know those appendixes or appendices, um, if you favour Latin plurals. Um, the, the, those are also missing. But <laughs> I, I, I did very much enjoy it. And, I, and, and there, were certain, there were certain pages that I, I used to sort of um, skip over. Uh, and there were certain bits, particularly in the two towers, which I found a little bit on the dull side. Um, but um, but but when I came back to read to read it just after the films came out, um, I read those bits as well. And I, I thought, oh my goodness, I rather enjoy those. It's such a clever book because it um, it, it takes the idea of saga and it reinterprets it in the context of modern storytelling. So it's not an it's not a novel. Because uh, uh, in a novel, the characters develop and they develop the plot. The plot is completely independent to any character development and there's precious little character development. The characters go on a journey. The only plot is that uh, movement through space. Uh, they're not moving particularly emotionally. And um, so that makes it so different to something like Dickens or even Hardy. Um, but it's... Um, it, it, it puts it back into the... Once you read Lord of the Rings, you could read Beowulf. Um, and, uh, and and that would probably be quite appropriate. Um, you, you, you could even have a look at, um, at, at some of the great um, works of um, classical literature and you'd feel on much more common ground, like the Iliad and the Odyssey. Um, and I think probably my preparation for those books was reading Tolkien. Um, now, as I say, I'm really excited about the about the new adaptations. Um, and I have this confession to make. I have carried the Silmarillion around. I've carried my copy of the Silmarillion around for, I think, about 40 years. And I have never, never got beyond about um, the first chapter. So I think this is the time to commit myself to reading the Silmarillion and some of these other uh, Tolkien tales and um, sort of bits and pieces which were published so assiduously at one but I always thought it'd be so nice to have a whole bookcase full of Tolkienalia um, but um, I've never quite managed that having realised I couldn't get through the Silmarillion I I'd love to know what are your confessions and what are those um, wh what are those books that you that you always claim to read but never quite have I mean I've for about 20 years I claimed to have read Proust and it was only recently that I actually managed Managed to wriggle through that, so um, I am dreadful actually, and um, uh, and 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 some of the Dickens which I say I love so much, and I do some of the Dickens, um, I've only managed to uh, conquer by by using audio books. Um, and uh, by the way, if you haven't heard Stephen Fry doing uh, Sherlock Holmes, you're missing something because he is spectacular. My God, thank God for Stephen Fry, a national treasure. Um, and um, uh, and 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 then oh 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 and congratulations to all of those all of you who've done so well in GCSEs this year. Uh, congratulations! You know um, it reminds me of, of quite the opposite of what um, of, of, of what uh, Gandalf and um, Ian McKellen would say as he bangs his staff on the um, on the bridge and says, "You shall not pass." Well, yes, you shall. And congratulations, all of you. Have fun. This, this really is the sort of tea with Tim we should have done, isn't it? Uh, or so much, so much, so much lighter. There we are.